Welcome to the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Hello, everyone. This is Jarvis S. Scott with What's Happening Birmingham. Today, I'm back again. I always love seeing this face. She comes on a couple of times a year of the podcast to promote some of the great events she does in the community. Attorney Car- Carthenia Jefferson, how are you doing today? Uh, good evening, Jarvis. I'm doing great. It's so glad to be with you again. Great. Well, it's October, and one of the events she mm-hmm. always puts on is the Stop the Violence Walk and Summit. And this year is going to be on the 19th at Sixth Avenue Baptist Church. So kind of tell me about what things you got in store this year's version. Well, as again, I said, uh, thank you for uh, inviting uh, me on the podcast. We have the Stop the Violence, a walk and summit that will be held on October the 19th uh, at Sixth Avenue Baptist Church. That's going to be from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And mm-hmm. uh, we, we have some panelists that are coming that are great uh, community leaders. That is Sheriff Mark Petway, uh, Chief Scott Thurman, uh, Family Court Referee uh, Myrtle Allen, uh, District Attorney Danny Carr. Uh, we have uh, Council uh, Woman Crystal Smitherman. Uh, we have also coming uh, Dr. Melvin Love from the Birmingham City Schools and uh, Principal Ronald Steele from John Carroll Catholic School and my own pastor, Dr. John L. Cantalosa III. So yeah. uh, we... Uh, we inviting everyone to come out. We inviting, uh, we are challenging uh, all local divine nine sororities and fraternities, motorcycle clubs, uh, faith based leaders, churches, and organizations against uh, violence to join us to help stop the violence and get out the vote. Also joining us is our moderator, uh, Sheila Smoot, and V ninety four point nine DJ uh, Mike. So we are inviting everyone to please come out on October the 19th because we know there is so much violence that is going on in our community, so much violence that is going on in the nation, and we need to take our communities back. We need to save our children, save ourselves, because there is so much going on, and and we need some solutions to these problems. How can we best stop this violence or at least reduce the violence in our community. So we are challenging all persons who are interested in finding solutions to our problems as far as this violence, this gun violence, this peer pressure, this bullying that's going on that's causing our children mental health problems. We need some solutions on how we can stop this violence. So our panelists will be there. They will be giving their intake uh, as far as uh, what they think we should do. But we also need the community to get involved because without us getting involved and uh, if we see something, we should say something. But that's not always the case. But we working together we can help solve this violence problems or at least reduce the violence in our communities. So we're encouraging all to please come out on October the 19th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. at Sixth Avenue Baptist Church, where we will get some uh, education awareness on violence reduction and how we can reduce violence in our communities. Also, we will be having a reception uh, right uh, after the uh, summit. So, And from 9 to 10, we will have the walk. From 10 to 12, we will have the summit. And immediately thereafter, we'll have the reception. So again, we are inviting all persons who are interested in helping stop this violence in our community to come out in masses because the community needs to know, the world needs to know that Birmingham is not a bad place. It's just things that's been going on just like going on in other communities. And we need to show the world that we are interested in our communities, Birmingham, the city of Birmingham, stopping this violence. We have this event is sponsored by the Birmingham Black Nurses Association, Black Women for Positive Change, the Lawrence Munn Jefferson Jr. uh, Foundation, V94.9, the city of Birmingham, uh, What's Happening, uh, Mm -hmm. Birmingham, Jarvis Scott, 
uh, Christy Oliver uh, and Sam Fisher uh, are some of our sponsors, as well as Sixth Avenue Baptist Church, our main sponsor, uh, where Dr. John L. Cantaloupe is the pastor. So we're challenging, again, the pastors, all Divine Nine organizations, all motorcycle clubs, all organizations uh, that are against uh, this violence in our community. We're challenging young adults, mm -hmm. uh, young people, adults, everyone to come out to help us solve this problem on how we can reduce this violence in our community and how we can reduce this uh, gun violence in our community. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I feel like this is so timely because of all the mess every year you do is always on time, but especially, you know, these violent incidents. It's just been, it just feel like it's just been intensifying itself. That when you get to the point, you got full mass gunmen just coming out, don't care if they hit civilians, you know, even with a situation that happened in Five Point South and a situation that happened in North Birmingham, it's, it's becoming senseless that we definitely got to get um, the whole community together just to, like you said, think of, talk of new ideas, new strategies, even violence reduction strategies or conflict resolution. And yes, we do. And Jarvis, also we'll be introducing the peace circles. Uh, and what a peace circle is, a peace circle helps promote voice and collaboration among uh, students and adults to create violence-free futures. Um, we at Black, Black Women for Positive Change, we have been promoting these peace circles all over the country. Mm -hmm. And it is to help promote a dream of a future without violence. Uh, and, and that is an act of bravery. Because when people see something and say something, you have to be very brave in these days and time to speak up. And you mm -hmm. can give anonymous tips, as they've been saying uh, concerning these shootings. That there is an anonymous hotline that you can call. So mm -hmm. come out, uh, bring your ideas, uh, bring your yourself, your neighbors, your children, and help us to, as, we, as uh, Jarvis said, strategize on how we can help reduce the violence in our communities and learn about promoting peace circles because we all uh, need some mental health saneness. And with yeah. all this that's going on in the world, it's just insane. So we want to help ourselves. We want to help our children to, to feel like they are they can go to school and be safe because these days children, you know, it's, it, it's not like we, when I was back in school, um, so um, the, the violence just has definitely increased. So we want to help. Uh, that's why we have our um, educators coming so they can speak about uh, how we can help reduce the violence in our schools, give us some ideas. And then, like I say, that we need the community to speak up. So mm -hmm. everyone, please come out on October the 19th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m at 6th Avenue Baptist Church, which is located at 1101 Martin Luther King Jr. Drive, uh, right across from Elmwood Cemetery, and help us reduce this violence in our community and help us take back our communities. Oh, yes. And I want to tell you, thank you for coming on and, um, you know, continuing to work. And you always come out and support that, that day as well, October 19th. So... Thank you all for watching. Please check out what's happening Birmingham.com for more interviews. Don't forget, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm on TikTok now, Happy to Be Ham, and the audio version of this on Apple Podcasts. Thank you all again, and let's stop the violence. Let's walk that day, too, everybody. Bye-bye. And thank you, Jarvis. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Please check out our website, app, or subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos today.